So, invincible grace is seen in drawing, calling, and quickening, and fourthly, it's seen in regenerating us. Now, when God draws you, that's exactly the same thing as Him regenerating you. When God calls you, that's exactly the same thing as Him regenerating you. When God quickens you, that's exactly the same thing as Him regenerating you. Okay, all of those things are talking about the same thing. Regeneration. Now, regenerate. Generate means come alive. Re means do it again. Meaning once we were alive in Adam before he fell, then we died in the fall. We have to be re brought to life, regenerated. Born again. Born again. That's the easy term for it. Born again. <laughs> there you go. Let's take a look at Ezekiel chapter 36 because this describes regeneration. Ezekiel chapter 36, look at verse 26. Moreover, I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. Cause you is a very strong word. This isn't just a gospel offer. <laughs> this is a calling that produces obedience to Christ. Do you see it there in the text? I will cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will be careful to observe my ordinances. Now, what happens at regeneration, according to these verses? Yeah, the Spirit of God comes in. God takes something out, too, doesn't He? He takes out the old heart of stone, and he puts something in, in its place, a heart of flesh. And then he sends the Holy Spirit into that heart of flesh, which that Holy Spirit causes us to walk in God's ordinances and obey Jesus Christ, submitting to him as Lord. The Spirit of God working does that. You see that? So there is a sort of like a spiritual heart transplant that happens when you're born again, which means the affections of your heart change. If they've never changed, you've never been born again. If you've been born again, you have a new heart. This heart, well, let's just put it this way. The new heart loves what it once hated, and it hates what it once loved. Now, this old, this old heart of mine used to love sin, used to love doing its own thing. It was selfish. It was all about me, myself, and I. The new heart loves Jesus. The new heart loves righteousness. The new heart loves being with you in fellowship. The new heart loves the Bible, and it loves prayer, and it loves worship. Uh, these are all <laughs> things that come with the new heart that God gives us. Now, I used to hate certain things. I used to hate going to church. I used to. I tried to read the Bible once and gave up after the first page. Honest, that's the honest truth. I used to hate trying to read the Bible, going to church. Now I love those things. How come? God gave me a new heart. And if you've been born again, he's given you a new heart. Isn't that awesome? Because because we couldn't do that. Can, can you imagine just to say, okay, from now, from this day on, I'm going to have a new heart. You ever tried doing that? It ain't going to work. <laughs> you don't have the power. There's only one person in the entire universe that has the power to take out your old heart and give you a brand new one, and that's God. But thank God that's the blessing of this new covenant. 